Hello, we are back for the fourth video of the Python Tutorial City series. Um, so the next video we're going to do is we're going to look at user input. Um, now user input is exactly what it sounds like. It's taking input from the user. So this function right here is used for user input. Now um, this function process things one line at a time so if I say this variable and now you can make variables as um, the, va the value of function so this function will run some code and return some value so it will run and I'll, I'll show you what it runs in a second so I'll say what is your name now just bear with me here I'll write print Z. Now I'm going to save this as. Oh, great. I'm going to save this as, let's say, user input one. Because what if I want to make a user input? Who knows? Um, so I'm going to run this. And it says, what is your name? I can write in my name here, my name's Nick, and it prints out Nick. So it takes this parameter and then it sets what you give it, so Nick, I gave it Nick to Z as a string. And then printing that, I can print variables and that pr variable has a value, has a value of Nick as a string. Now it will always have a string because it always returns a string. So the input function always returns a string. Um, now you can really use anything inside of the parentheses. Um, you can prob uh, you can put anything in here. You can say whatever you want. But this is basically what user input is used for. So um, when we get to if statements, it'll get a lot clearer what the applications of this is. But right now, we're just going to focus on, you know, the input function itself. Um, it's really important to know this because when you're writing long, complicated programs and you're saying, oh, well, why can't I add, you know, let's say I want to do something like print it out just to show the error, 3 plus Z. So we're going to run it here, and you're going to be asking, why can't I say 3 plus Z if I give it a number? And that's what you're going to be wondering. Your name is 3. It doesn't print out 6 because you're adding a string. It always has a string. It always returns a value of a string. Um, and that's why, that's why data types are so important, because uh, they can really you know, help clear up debugging in the code. Um, but no matter what you give it, it will be a string. So make sure to keep that in mind um, when we go through if statements, which is going to be in a couple of videos. But um, this is the input statement, it's very useful. And um, that's basically it. Uh, the next video will be on math operators. Now, math operators are pretty useful. Um, you can use them in printing, you can use them in concatenation. Um, there's also casting, which is very important, and then we'll start putting some more advanced coding knowledge in your heads. Um, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, goodbye.